This is Win News. Tonight, roads, rail and freight, the focus of a long-term plan for the... Infrastructure New South Wales delivered its 20-year independent blueprint for the state today. Illawarra projects are among the wish list with a focus on roads, rail and freight. There has been a mixed response from lobby groups, but all agree there needs to be state government funding to ensure they come to fruition. Around 20,000 residents commute to Sydney each day. Infrastructure New South Wales has recommended the state government invest half a billion dollars over the next five years to pilot a one-hour express line. From the livability perspective and the connectivity from Sydney to Wollongong are very important to the development of the Illawarra region. $215 million is also recommended towards a freight line from Unindera to Mossvall in the next decade, with a $3 billion investment to connect the F6 from Waterfall to Sydney over 20 years. How long it will take and most importantly where this money will come from. The infrastructure plan was not a plan that was matched with funding. What it is is a strategic plan for the future. It's up to the government then to provide its five-year response so that we can see what is going to be funded into the future. A fast rail link passing through the Illawarra was ruled out due to the constraints of the escarpment, while the duplication of the Princess Highway down to Jervis Bay was assessed but not made a priority. What I'll be doing is using this report which says that the highway should be upgraded all the way to the Jervis Bay turnoff to justify future funding requests. The long-awaited Molden Dombarton remains down the list of priorities. The recommendation is that it can wait another two decades for private investors. We think things like Molden Dombarton, particularly with the, with the current announcement of the lease of the port, was a bit more critical. The Premier remains at odds against recommendations for Badgeries Creek as the preferred second airport option. RDA Illawarra was disappointed the interchange at Yalla and the Illawarra Regional Airport missed out. It says the state government now has to deliver the funds to back up the blueprint. We will certainly be looking toward to the government to provide some commitments to the, the funding of those, those uh, proposals and those priorities. We have advised they will decide and we in Treasury will then uh, make that into a five-year actual delivery program. Melissa Jaros, Wind News.